Do you have a narcissist in your life that just makes you crazy? They're constantly baiting you, constantly triggering you, and you want to stop reacting and stay in emotional control then this is going to be the video for you because in this video i'm going to give you two steps to staying in emotional control so that you can stop reacting and stay in emotional control you are new here then you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can find something here to keep you in power to make sure that you turn it around and become part of this empowering community and be your best self every single day because every single day i am uploading brand new videos for you so that you can stop feeling at the effect of that narcissist and become your best self. All right. So today I've got two steps to stop reacting and stop being baited and triggered by that narcissist and stay in emotional control, especially when that high conflict individual is just baiting you, baiting you, baiting you constantly. And I've seen it in cases, I've seen it in all of the people that I'm helping on a daily basis. And I, I've literally helped thousands and thousands of people get control of their lives, get that mastery over their emotions. And, you know, I just know what it's like. I know what it's like. And if you know what it's like, just, you know, drop me a comment below so that we can start supporting each other. Just say, I know I've been there. I know I've been there. Drop me a comment below and let me know how you feel right now. So, um, you know, I just, I want you to know that I've got a, a, a powerful tool that can help you. It's, it's, it's phrases for disarming narcissists, phrases for disarming narcissists. It's a powerful tool that you can use to have that upper hand in remaining in control so that you can use it for communicating with narcissists, for emailing narcissists, for, you know, when you're like, oh my God, you feel frozen. And, and so make sure that you grab those tools. You can go to disarmthenarc.com and get them. Make sure, trust me, it'll be a game changer for you. All right. So step one is recognize what's going on and then ground yourself. Remember, you're kind of like dealing with a toddler who's stuck in an adult body. So as soon as you see that the wall of text come in or that wall of email come in, those long things, the thing you have to go hit, see more, see more, you go, oh my God, I know what they're doing. I see, you know what happens? They go fishing, they'll go, Shh, they go fishing like that. And, and then they bait you and then they trigger you and then they reel you in and they go, mm -mm, I got a live one over here. And so the very first step, the very first step is just to step back and start to see them almost as if they're like a toddler having a tantrum on the floor. And, and just, this is like the, the first, the, such a per, important first step is start to just go almost like a, I almost say it's almost like a reporter, like reporting the news. Oh, I see. I see what's happening here. I see what's going on. And, and probably the very first step, almost the very most important step is to recognize what's happening and just see it. And, and I just say, like, put an emotional, like a, a like a boundary, like an invisible, um, like, uh, uh, you know, almost like Teflon coming down around you, like that invisible boundary coming down around you and, it just, you, you just start to be like, mm, I see what's happening and, and just start to recognize it and see them who, for who they are and, and recognize that, you know, what they're trying to do to you. And when somebody tries to, you know, trigger you, you just, okay, I see what's happening. I see it. And you know that your heart is racing, you know, you're, you know, that, that um, fight or flight's happening, that sympathetic nervous system is kicking in. 
So you might start to sweat, your heart rate starts to raise and you know, your thoughts start to race. But at this moment, that's the moment that grounding yourself is so, so critical. Don't allow yourself to be baited. Don't allow yourself to be triggered because this is when you might do something that they're going to use against you. Remember that everything that you write, everything that you do, everything, all of these things are potential trial exhibits or potential things that they use against you at, at work. Oh, look, there's the crazy one. There's the person, right? And so your reaction is so important. You have a choice. You have a choice to respond, not react. You have a choice to observe, you know, you can absorb, observe, not absorb, observe, not absorb, respond, don't react at that moment, right? So, and just remember, it's it's about them. It's not personal. Remember that people treat other people in, in the way that is, a, it's a direct reflection of the way they feel about themselves. It never has anything to do with you. So, you know, if you're in a meeting and, you know, you know you're with somebody who is a high conflict individual, you know that they have narcissistic tendencies and, and they go to undermine you, they go to try to trigger you. Instead of snapping back, instead of being triggered, take a deep breath, remind yourself this isn't about me. This is their issue. Their triggers are not your responsibility. And by doing so, just taking that one pause, that one breath, even that one moment where you just count one 1,000, just, you know, go, maybe it's more personal. Maybe they have a family member that makes snide remarks to them on a daily basis, or maybe they had a bad child, whatever it is, just you can make a choice in that moment. Instead of being sucked into their emotional vortex, their craziness, you can just take a look at them and say, hmm, I'm sure you're having a tough day, whatever. But you keep yourself firmly planted on the ground and just state facts. Do not defend yourself. I always say, do not defend. Never explain, justify, overshare. Do not defend yourself. When you defend yourself, you end up being sucked in, sucked in, drawn in, pulled in. Once you do, you're down into the mud with them. You are in it, right? So do not allow yourself to do that. So recognize and ground yourself is that first step. And then step two, which I already sort of started to talk about, just be calculated, thoughtful, controlled, and just recall that person who under or undermined you, instead of counteracting, being defensive, just respond with a, a calm question. A lot of times if you respond with a question, can you clarify that? Clarify what you meant by that. By doing so, you are taking control of the narrative and displaying emotional maturity. Clarify what you mean by that. And for the family member who gets crazy, you know, you can just say, I appreciate your perspective, but I'm happy with my choices. Thank you for your feedback. It diffuses potential conflict. So remember, the first step is to just observe, you know, take control of your, your emotions, recognize, ground yourself. You can see what's happening. Take that step back. 
you start to look at them as if they are a toddler having that tantrum on the floor. Emotional Teflon, you know, put that invisible boundary down around you. I always say, then you become like Superman having the, the bullets off your chest or Wonder Woman having the bullets off of your, your uh, wrists. And you just start to see it. You have a shield and you're just smiling behind your shield. Oh, I see you. I remember having a, uh, a family member one time who is now divorced from my other family member. And, you know, this person was just wildly crazy and very, very triggered about all sorts of things. And you know, came at me one time about something that was crazy. And, you know, and I just remember saying to her, you know, traveling with children can be extremely stressful. You know, I just remember like deflecting it back onto her. And this was long before I knew anything about narcissism or about any of this. But I just remember instinctively saying something like, I'm sure traveling with children can be extremely stressful. Like just knowing that it had nothing to do with me and just not taking that personally. And and that's the kind of thing that you can say, like just putting it back onto them. It just it has nothing to do with you. And just staying, remaining very calm. And I remember when I said that to her, she just went back. She was so almost like stunned by that. It was almost like a, a deer with headlights, like, oh my God. And, and so she just stopped and went back on to her merry way and went on to somebody else because she was so stunned by that. You know, it's almost like the, she didn't expect me to say that or do that because I didn't take it personally. Like, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. I didn't take the bait. So when this happens, if you just don't take the bait, if you don't take that trigger, if you don't allow yourself, if you just stay with like Teflon, grounded, recognize, grounded. Um, so if you can do this, say, I can do this in the comments, right? So, you know, we need to recognize this. We need to support our, ourselves. We can be non-reactive because l- let me tell you, Slayers, that I cannot stress enough how important it is to not give them that narcissistic supply that they so deeply crave because when you give them that supply, that's when they keep coming around. That's when they keep coming back after you, right? So- don't go, go give them that narcissistic supply, that 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 thing that they keep wanting because, you know, if you want to shut them down, you want to shut off that supply source, this is the first step to doing that, right? So you can do this. I've helped many, many people do it and you can do it too. So if, if this resonates with you, make sure you like this video, make sure you share it out with other people so that they can get access to this information as well. Together, we can be super strong. We can be resilient. We can be unbreakable and, and we can slay these dragons together and we can do this. And I'm building a huge community of people, of slayers and people together that we rise and we become powerful and we can become, we have authentic power, which is the kryptonite. The kryptonite is you can wipe them from the CPU of your brain and become the best version of yourself. And remember, you can control your narrative. You can control your narrative. So I want you to subscribe here. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. The next video that I want you to watch is learn this to become non-reactive to a narcissist. Learn this to become non-reactive to a narcissist. And we're going to go watch that video together. Make sure that you have subscribed here. Hit that notification bell. Learn this to become non-reactive to a narcissist. And I am so excited to help you on this empowerment journey. And together we are going to do this 
All right. I'll see you in that next video.